And now, here to entertain you all, because every day he's hustling. Side Hustle Cinema. Welcome back to the channel. Side Hustle Cinema here. Thanks for clicking on this video. And today, I'm doing a, another pickup video. Uh, this one's like some of the sales that's been going on. Some of the mainstream titles and stuff. Just just different things that I've been picking up. And uh, because, you know, it's the month of November, uh, like most of you out there, I've, I've been picking up quite a bit. I had my Scream Factory video yesterday. Uh, so if you didn't check that one out, go, go check that one out. And uh, doing my main pickup video today. And then tomorrow I'm actually going to be doing a slipcover video. I had to separate them all just so we didn't have such a long video. And uh, tomorrow's slipcover video is going to have some stuff that I'm showing today that I made slipcovers for. And uh, it's also got some stuff from the Scream Factory haul I had. And I'll let you know which ones uh, you can expect to see the slipcovers for. And then there's some other stuff, other slipcovers and things that that I've been making. So uh, be on the lookout for that slipcover video. And let's go ahead and get into today's video. And uh, what have I been picking up? What's been going on? All right. Well, the first one, uh, I don't think too many people have this one. So I thought I would lead with this one. And I picked up No Escape on 4K. Now, this one's a German release. Came out from uh, Turbine Media. Put this one out. And so, you know, this one was available here in the States on Blu-ray only. And uh, I knew that they were doing the 4K in Germany. And so I went ahead and went with that one. Uh, I had to wait a few weeks for it to be released. And then I had to wait to get my hands on a copy because it sold out right away. But uh, I'm, I'm pleased to get it. And it looked fantastic. Uh, there's so many outdoor scenes in this movie. Uh, lots of uh, nighttime stuff. Fire. Um, you know, the jungle, the whole thing, uh, looked, looked really good. Uh, so I, I don't, I don't regret it at all. It was, it was a good pickup. The only thing that was weird though is, um, I'm pretty sure I thought I was ordering a, a media book. And when I got it, it was just like a normal case, no slipcover or anything. Um, so that's kind of weird. Now it did have reversible artwork on it. And it is like a uh, a three disc set, you know. That's nice, and it does have reversible artwork. And uh, there's the other cover, and there's like the um, it's kind of the the main poster art. But yeah, I, I thought I was getting a media book. To be honest, I, I guess I was wrong. But still, it's very cool to have it, and and uh, yeah, I might might make a slipcover for it. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, that that was a good pickup there. All right, next we got. Uh, I'll try to move through these a little bit faster. I got uh, Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Now this one doesn't come with a slipcover, so I did make one for it, and it looks pretty cool. So if you want to see the Jeepers Creepers Reborn slipcase reveal then tune in to my slipcover video uh tomorrow and uh i will show you that slipcover um it's it's a it's an okay movie i mean it's the cheapest made movie you know that green screen effects that they have in this movie not not the greatest um but and the movies kind of keep going down and in, in in um well story and everything but it's still okay. It's still pretty good. Uh, next, I got a classic one here. This one was just one that was on sale. And that is uh, Full Metal Jacket. Uh, never picked it up in, you know, for the collection. Uh, I've seen it so many times. I think that's really why. You know, I was always like, well, do I really want to pay that for that? And I knew I wanted it in the collection. But, you know, you just keep passing on them. But... I'm glad I finally got it. You know, I I don't know what was wrong with me. I should should have been a day one purchase probably, but 
you know, glad glad to have it. And I did make a uh, a slip cover for this one. You'll see that in the video, and it, it's a really nice one. Um, because I know a lot of people are probably picking that up. And they don't have slip covers for it, so be on the lookout for that one. Uh, the next one's a movie. It's a new movie. This one is one that I was on the fence about picking up, but I decided to go ahead and do it. And that is the uh, Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Um, you know, like a lot of people, it's it's definitely one of my favorites. Top five for sure of Christmas movies. And, um, yeah, I just, I just had to pick it up, I guess. I mean, I... I was really torn though, but uh, you know the price kept coming down a little bit. Got it, got it at a decent rate, like twenty-one dollars or something. Uh, not too shabby. Um, I did make a custom slip cover for it, like an alternative. I mean, everyone's gonna have this one, but uh, made a little alternative slip cover for it that you'll see in that video tomorrow. Next. Another one I just picked up, it was on sale, only paid like $10 for it, and that is uh, uh, Ambulance, you know, it's a Michael Bay film, tons of action in this one, just chases the whole way through the movie. I enjoyed the movie, I thought it was pretty good, and uh, it's only 10 bucks, and yeah, I'm going to pick that up all day long, I, I, I enjoyed the movie. Uh, the next one here is one that I was super stoked to pick up because I, I really love this one. I saw it in theaters, and that is Beast. And uh, this movie is better than I expected it to be. You know, I saw the trailers for it. I was kind of excited, optimistic because I do love animal attack movies. Um, but the CGI line was kind of throwing me off a little bit. But uh, the story it goes a little bit deeper than, than you would think. Uh, the stuff with the family um, was interesting. So there was a little more story here. So the movie had a little little bit more like you know gravity to it, a little heft to it, uh, more than just an animal attacking people. Um, but the animal attack stuff was good too. I mean it was you know it was, it was pretty crazy. Um, and so I, I just really enjoyed it. You know, I was definitely glad to get that in the collection. Only paid ten dollars for it. You know, when it first came out, that was like it was like a twenty-five dollar movie, I think, right? And uh, yeah, I was able to get it for ten. So, and I think most of these deals are still going on. I think you can still get ambulance for ten. I think you can still get beast for ten. Um, so lots, lots of good stuff still going on. Uh, another one, my next one I got is Firstborn, and I think I only paid fifteen for this. Got it on Amazon. Uh, it's an Olive Film release, which Olive Film releases. Uh, well, Olive Film's no longer around, uh, and so their movies go for a little bit more, kind of like the way Twilight Time. You know, all their movies kind of go for a little bit more. Um, so like all of films is now, uh, gone. I've, they've really kind of moved over and they're now sandpiper pictures, but, uh, yeah, so all of films, um, put out some great stuff and Firstborn was one of them. This is an excellent movie. It's an older movie from the eighties. It's a thriller. It's got Peter Weller, you know, who's Robocop, Terry Gars in there. And, uh, you know, they kind of have Christopher Collette here on the cover. He was the older brother, but his younger brother is Corey Haim. And it's, uh, you know, Peter Weller's the bad guy in this in this movie. He's uh, kind of the dirtbag boyfriend who, you know, kind of moves into the house. I don't know if he, they actually get married or not. I need to rewatch it. But, uh, you know, he's either the stepfather or the boyfriend. And he's into some, like, uh, sketchy stuff and... You know, at first he's cool, then he turns bad, and uh, it's got a really great third act that's uh, just, you know, super entertaining. And uh, definitely worth the pick up. And next we got a comedy from uh, MVD Rewind Collection, that is Ski Patrol. 
And this is one that I touted. It was like my, like my second or third favorite or most anticipated release for November. Well, I did watch this one when I got it in. I've had it in for a couple weeks now. Uh, it's still... Um, I think officially it comes out on the 22nd, but like so many of the boutique uh, stores have had it available. I got this one from Grindhouse Video. And, uh, you know, I've, like I said, I've had it for about like seven days or so. Um, it's funny, but it's it, the jokes are pretty sophomoric humor. You know, they're kind of a little bit... You know, if you fall, like, if you can laugh at people falling, you know, like, just falling over for no reason, then, you know, you'll get some chuckles out of this. But it is pretty good. The skiing actually is, is really good in here. You know, a lot of stunt work that was done on that. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It, it's more probably more nostalgia than anything. I, um... I used to rent that movie a lot and stuff, and uh, the video store actually gave me the poster, and I had it up on my wall and in my room for a long time, so I was just kind of nostalgic for it. Uh, another sale item that I picked up just wasn't in the collection. That's Jingle All the Way. Uh, this was like five bucks from Amazon. Um, so I went ahead and picked that one up. Of course, I got the uh, Turbo Man, you know, doll last year, the figure. And so uh, I, I, I knew I wanted to watch the movie this year, so I had to pick that one up. Got the black phone finally on Blu-ray. Held off because I was hoping for a 4K release somewhere. But just didn't happen. And, you know, this went on sale for $10. So, you know... I, I loved the movie. I thought it was great. So I was definitely going to pick that one up. Alright, my next uh, pickup here will raise a few eyebrows probably. <laughs> what are you doing, Side Hustle? Uh, we got uh, Tom and Jerry the movie. Um, I, you know, I, I didn't love it, but I, I find myself kind of wanting to watch it again. Uh, I don't know why, but you know what it's, it's like it was like five bucks or six bucks something like that um came with a slip cover i do like tom and jerry i, I like chloe grace moretz and you know so i you know forget about it. i'm just i'm gonna watch it if i watch it one more time and then it's it was worth the five bucks okay well the next one i picked up is a vestron title and that one is uh earth girls are easy and um I'm going to go ahead and put this down as a first time watch. Uh, I know I've seen it. And it, when I rewatch it, it'll probably jog my memory and I'll, I'll remember some stuff about it. But uh, it's uh, I just don't remember enough about it. So it's, it's, I'm calling it a first time watch here. Uh, I love the artwork on that. That is cool looking right there. And of course, you know, these are always... Uh, super collectible, super affordable. Can't wait for that Silent Night, Deadly Night uh, set that's coming out soon. Uh, but yeah, Earth Girls are easy. Jeff Goldblum, Gina Davis, Jim Carrey. I mean, come on, Julie Brown, Damon Wayans. I mean, that that's a great cast. Um, yeah, can't wait to rewatch that one. So the next one I picked up is another uh, import title. This one came from uh, Arrow UK. And it is The Howling Part 2. I got this from Diabolic uh, Video. If you guys ever buy stuff from them, they're pretty good. Well, I don't know. It was on sale. And uh, I, I do uh, I do remember liking Howling 2. But, man, it's been a long time. I've seen the first one like, like 15, 20 times. You know, I think I've seen this one once, so I, I need to rewatch it. But uh, yeah, I mean that's a that's a really cool cover, and um, you know this one is region B, so you gotta have that region free player. But I'll be checking that one out soon. Uh, I got this one from eBay, and God, I think I only paid five bucks for this, and that is. Um, 
uh, Independence Day Resurgence. And um, I had it on, on Blu-ray, but I didn't have the, the 4K of it. And so, it you know, it's supposed to come with the slip cover. It did, but the slip cover is kind of... Kind of had some sticker issues going on there. So I, I got to see if I can't clean that up a little bit. But, you know, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll rewatch it at some point. I mean, I didn't hate it. It, it wasn't great, but I didn't hate the, you know, the sequel. Maybe it'll grow on me. Maybe it'll be one of those that just grows on you over time or something. But I just need to get back in there and watch it again. Uh, Pearl. I picked up Pearl. Um, I love that Walmart slipcover, but, you know, I just went ahead and got this one. It's a, it's a nice slipcover, too. But, um... Uh, yeah, this was my first time watching Pearl. I, I, d I didn't check it out in theaters. And uh, I actually watched it last night. And I did enjoy it. I thought it was I thought it was good. It was really good. It's not as good as X. But, uh, well, okay. Let me... Maybe it's as good as X. I don't know. But it's not as rewatchable as X. Like I had a, I had a more, I had more fun watching X. This one's beautiful though. Like uh, you know, X had that uh, grainy, uh, you know, kind of grittiness to it to kind of make it look like, um, you know, Texas Chainsaw in that era. Well, this one had like a Technicolor look to it where all the colors really pop and are super vibrant, and I love the way that was shot. And they, they followed that up and tied it in with the music and like the the fonts and things for the, you know, uh, for the titles and, and all that stuff. And it just really worked. I mean, it just, like, I totally got what they were doing. And it worked in so many ways that I really appreciate the movie. Um, but it is it is a slower movie. And it's a movie that once you have seen what unfolds, I'm not sure how entertaining it would be to go back again and watch it multiple times. So uh, I really loved it as a first time watch, but I don't know how much of a second and third time. I don't know how many times I'm going to come back and watch Pearl, but I'm glad to have it in the collection. It's definitely worth picking up. You know, nothing wrong with that. Alright, the next two movies I got are both from uh, Disney Movie Club. And they were last month's, uh, you know, deal that they offer you. And I got, uh, I'll go ahead and show them together. I got Frank and Weenie and The Nightmare Before Christmas. And both these are uh, Disney Movie Club exclusive slipcovers. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's embossed. And it is really, really a cool slipcover. I, I, I like that a lot. And the same with Frank and Weenie. It's embossed a little bit, like where his stitches are and stuff. Um, this is a great movie. And uh, I really wanted to pick it up mostly for this deal, but uh, it was a good deal that they had together. And Frank and Weenie, you know, it's a Tim Burton uh, film, and I thought that was really cool, and I've never seen it. So, uh, Night Before, Nightmare Before Christmas, I really like, and uh, Frank and Weenie, I, I really look forward to checking out. I mean, looking at the back and everything, this this looks really cool, and I'm super glad to get these uh, Disney Movie Club exclusive slip covers. Uh, they look fantastic. I mean. That's that's worth it right there. And then finally, I've got three more to show you. Uh, they're all part of a collection. They're all steel books, and that is uh, the Universal Monsters steel books of uh, Dracula. And I got these. Uh, you know, these were Best Buy. Best Buy had these on sale for just fifteen dollars, and they're still on sale. So you can go check them out and pick them up before they go away. Got the Wolfman. 
I wanted these when they first came out. I, I was, you know, kind of kicking myself for not getting them. And then I thought they were gone. And then I thought about picking up the slipcover editions. And I just never did. And so finally when I saw that they're on sale. Not on sale, but just on clearance. So these are going away. And uh, when they're gone, they're just going to be gone. And so and the other ones is, of course, Frankenstein. And um, I'm super glad to have picked these up. So that's going to do it for the video today. Be on the lookout for that slipcover video coming out uh, tomorrow, hopefully, or the next day. And um, uh, until then, stay safe, have fun, keep watching those movies, and I'll see you on the next one.